Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and how is the juice? How is the juice of learning English grammar? Obviously, your josh is very high and to add some extra essence to your josh of English learning, today here we are with a new session of discussion of English grammar. Yes, dear friends, today I have decided let me discuss something that's a well known. You know it very much. You have learnt it right from your childhood. It's in the primary syllabus. But the terms which are associated with this particular chapter, I think they are not properly discussed. They are not properly understood by our students. So sometimes they create problems. So how will it be if we today discuss such a chapter from your English grammar learning which are easy but these are tips that uh, I'm going to share here in this discussion, these particular informations, these would be very very effective for you to execute your knowledge of English grammar of that particular chapter in practical field. Yes, dear friends, before we start our discussion, I think it would be better for us to discuss a bit about how we must concretize our learning. We learn, we learn many things. But what's the purpose of these learnings? Most of the time, people consider that if we learn these things, we could answer well in the exam and we'd secure good marks. But that's not all. It's not all about result. It's about your knowledge. Because in practical field, you have to use them in your speech, in your writings, and there, nobody is going to uh, actually deliver you some marks. Rather, they are going to have an impression of your knowledge. They are going to have an impression of your image, of your personality. And that's why learning perfectly is so very important and the topic that we are going to discuss today it's it's uh, really very simple it's article yes dear friends and uh, obviously we don't have much to discuss about articles because you know a uh, an and the these three terms of English grammar, these three words, they are used in English grammar as articles. It's easy, you know, where we have to use a, uh, where we have to use an, where you have to use the. Actually, when we consider, we get two groups from here, a uh, and an. They form one group and the, that's another type. So finally, we get two different types of articles. And now if I ask you, what are the two different kinds of articles? Very easily, you can answer it. You would say, sir, one, it's an indefinite article. And the other, it's definite article. Yes, dear friends, I know it's a very easy and you are well acquainted with these things definite articles and indefinite articles but my question is a bit different if i ask you what is indefinite article and what is definite article now here just uh, try to understand the real problem that we face we the teachers face with our students now if i ask you what is indefinite article and what is definite article you'd say sir a uh, and these are indefinite articles and the is definite articles so what is definite what is indefinite you have a concept of it 
but the concept is totally result oriented you know these two things a uh, and an they are indefinite and the is definite now if i proceed further if i ask you what do you mean by indefinite and definite articles you would say so when we are not sure about which thing or which person we are talking of we consider them as indefinite article because the thing or the person the object or the thing that we are talking of it's not definite and when we know which particular thing or person object or person or noun you may say we are talking of we call it definite article so that would be your answer but my question is how to consider whether we know this particular thing or object or not if i say the pen is on the table the pen is on the table and again i am producing another sentence a pen is on the table now my question is both the sentences are correct both the sentences have their meanings when i say the pen and a pen both the sentences are correct you can't say grammatically this sentence uh, the pen is correct or a pen is incorrect you can't say this because both are correct so from this example we may come to the conclusion that the first sentence in the first sentence this pen is known so we are considering it as definite and we are using the definite article but we are in the second sentence here we are using indefinite article that's a uh, that means the pen is not known to it so who knows who is aware of which person or thing we are talking of so it actually dive deep into it would excavate what's the essence hidden in definite and indefinite article and we will come to a very concrete conclusion regarding what is definite and what is indefinite particularization we have to get it particularized how it's definite how it's indefinite yes dear friends it's it's very important just don't go after the terms try to find out why 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 are they called so how we conclude whether it's definite or indefinite so today in this in this discussion i am going to clear that point how it is definite or how it is indefinite and uh, obviously to get to this point we have to get a bit deeper into it so let's find out how definite and indefinite is actually detected yes dear friends actually detected how it's done but before we shift to that point here or we'll try to find out two other things let me draw something i know i'm not uh, quite good at drawing but just i'm trying to figuring it out so when we produce a sentence when a sentence is produced actually here two persons get involved in it two persons get involved when a sentence is produced and uh, who are that two persons yes dear friends you know one is the speaker and obviously the other is 
the least noun so why do we produce a sentence we produce a sentence we means a speaker produce a sentence for a listener to listen to it and understand what he wants to say so in the production of a sentence two factors got involved speaker and listener now the speaker produces a sentence that means whatever he is saying whatever he is saying he is well aware of it and it's up to the listener to understand and to get what the speaker is trying to express so the speaker produces and the listener according to his own will according to his own thought according to his or her own perception understands the meaning of the sentence produced by the speaker so these two persons are involved in producing and understanding a sentence now in english grammar what i'm saying here it's actually a very uh, you may say a gudha tatya in english grammar yes dear friends i call it the gudha tatya of english grammar this is the hidden treasure what's the hidden treasure whenever a sentence is produced the speaker produces it and the listener receives it so the grammar the rules of grammars always follow either the side of the speaker or the side of the listener now as a student of english language as a student of english grammar you have to understand which rules is targeting the speaker and which rule is targeting the listener but but yes but most of the times the rules that are related with english grammar with english sentences they are listener related and not speaker related because a sentence is produced for the listener and not for the speaker so whatever rules is involved it's listener related it targets the listener now let me introduce the same example that i have used there a pen is a tool for me now if the sentence is produced the pen is a tool for me so who has produced these two sentences these two sentences are produced by the speaker he produced the sentences so when he says a pen is a tool for me he is using an indefinite article that means he doesn't know which pen he is talking of and when he says the pen he is using a definite article that means he knows which pen he is talking of is this the consideration no that's not the consideration dear friends here you have to remember it's not the consideration the speaker is well aware of which pen he is talking of in both the cases in the cases of indefinite article or the definite article he is well aware of the pen he knows which pen he is talking of then who is not aware of the pen yes dear friends it's the listener the listener doesn't know which pen the speaker is talking of that's why he is using a pen he is making it general any pen he is not particular raising it so any pen can be a tool for the speaker so the speaker is well aware of the fact that his listener doesn't know which pen he is talking of so according to the listener it's indefinite not according to the speaker 
and the same thing happens here the pen is a tool for me that means the speaker knows that the listener is well aware of the pen he is talking of the listener knows which pen the speaker is talking of probably he has referred to it probably he had shown it to the listener and the listener knows that's why this pen is definite to the listener yes dear friends you have to consider when you are producing a sentence you are the speaker so from the perspective of a speaker you have to judge whether your listener is aware of the noun you are attaching the article with if this noun is known to the listener if the listener knows it it becomes definite if the listener doesn't know it you have to use indefinite article do you need some more clarification regarding it let me tell you about a particular rule a particular rule that we use in use of articles or an or the in english sentences so let's check the rules first so here i have written a sentence there is a dog the dog is a pet of my friend so the same noun dog is used in both the sentences once we have used a an indefinite article then we have used the a definite article and we know the rules when a noun is uh, introduced for the first time in our speech it must be given an indefinite noun because the noun is not known to the listener the speaker knows there is a dog he knows which dog he is talking of the speaker is well aware of the noun so it's indefinite not from the perspective of the speaker but from the perspective of the listener so when we refer to the noun for the first time it knows it it gets known to the listener and now the listener or listeners they know which dog the speaker is talking about so here we are using definite article the yes dear friends this is the most important rules which help us to understand what would be our perspective when we produce a sentence by using article whether we would use definite article or indefinite article so this is the trick with which you can very easily crack it you would never make any mistake in understanding whether you have to use a definite article or indefinite article in these situations if you remember only one thing that it's related with the listener and not with the speaker the speaker detects whether his listener knows the noun or not if the listener is aware of the noun it's definite if the listener is not aware of the noun it's indefinite so dear friends definite article and indefinite articles they aren't something that gets related to the speaker actually speaker is the judge here and the listener is the fact on to which the speaker judges whether it's definite article or indefinite article that's needed here in this sentence so whenever you have to judge definite or indefinite article don't forget to consider the perspective of the listener your perspective is not important here and that's all from our perspective of english grammar english article and the rules that are related with these topics we are returning very soon with another very much interesting discussion here in this channel till then bye bye happy learning